welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. A new report suggests excessive government handouts during the pandemic led to Australia's inflation woes. The federal government says one of its biggest priorities is restoring faith in the public service after handing down an 866-page report into the COVID response. Treasurer Jim Chalmers says because of stimulus payments, peak inflation was at least two percentage points higher than it should have been. There was excessive fiscal and monetary policy stimulus provided throughout 2021 and 2022, especially in the construction sector. Combined with supply side disruptions, this contributed to inflationary pressures coming out of the pandemic. But the coalition has dubbed the report a political hit job. Liberal leader Peter Dutton says the Albanese government is just engaging in political point scoring. It was a hit job and frankly, I just don't think the Albanese government gets anything right at the moment. You know, if Labor had their way at a federal level, there would have been an extra $81 billion that was spent. Uh, We know that they were opposed to JobKeeper, they were for it. Uh, We saved lives. The PM maintains he's been transparent in his dealings with Qantas. A new book suggests Anthony Albanese has been given 22 flight upgrades and gifts from the airline when Alan Joyce was boss. The opposition now pushing for a Senate inquiry into the matter. Well, there's calls for Queensland's newly elected Premier David Crisofulli to reconsider scrapping pill testing to schoolies. The former state Labor government announced a pop-up site would be introduced at Surfers Paradise for the celebrations, but the LNP is planning to repeal the commitment. Maya has taken ownership of nearly 800 retail stores, signing a deal with a major fashion retail company. Premier Investments has sold its brands to the department store, which include Just Jeans, JJ's, Portman's and Dotty. And organ donor cards are being made digital. The document can be added to the MyGov app wallet, making it more easily accessible. Sport and Entertainment are next. To sport, Matthew Wade will be Australia's wicket-keeping and fielding coach for next month's T20 series against Pakistan. It comes after the 36-year-old confirmed his international retirement. And the LA Dodgers are just one win away from claiming baseball's World Series. They've beaten the New York Yankees 4-2 to take a 3-0 lead in the best of seven. In your entertainment news now, in all five of One Direction's albums have re-entered the Billboard 200 following the death of Liam Payne. It says the singer's first posthumous song, Do No Wrong, is slated for release November 1. Lizzo has ditched the vegan lifestyle after realising her love for Japanese food. The singer reintroducing animal proteins into her diet as she works to improve her overall health. And supermodel Giselle Bündchen is pregnant. The 44-year-old has been dating her jiu-jitsu pro boyfriend since divorcing NFL star Tom Brady last year. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson. 